I got some advice you need to know. All right, if you're brand new here, go ahead and take the time to subscribe. You don't fucking have to, because I'm gonna keep on pushing these videos, or whether you like it or not, I'm gonna push out some information that's going to benefit you later on down the road. All right, let's take a second and look at this clutch level release. Ooh, hoo, 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 like butter. Now, during this stunt vlog number three, I wanna go ahead and go over a few of the questions that I've been asked recently more than once on several different occasions. Question number one, how much did you pay for your stunt bike? Yo, that's a hard ass question because for one, I had to put in a lot of extra money just to make my stunt bike able to be like a fucking brick when it hits the ground. I paid $2,300 off a buyer off Craigslist, and I know you're watching Cameron, but I've also had to switch the cage because the cage didn't hold up for me. I had to switch to a new breed cage, which was $3.99 off of eBay, painted it myself. Come to think about it, I didn't spend a lot of money on this bike per se. Most of the things that I spent money on was things that have been broken from stunting. So far, I have had to replace the triple tree, the handlebars, the original stunt cage, the subframe that was already cracked camera. I had to buy a new seat. I had to create my own axle pegs from Academy for 20 bucks. I had to put new stunt grip HD moto on the tank myself, as you can see right here, as I'm fixing my fanny pack. Fuck you. Fanny packs for the new backpack. As you can see, this is that Native American pattern that I have on my straps with the combat green color with the brown zippers. I can give zero fucks what you think about my fanny pack. I actually call it a side sack cover. Boom. It is not flicking it. It is almost in the sense of just dumping the clutch. You want to be smooth on the throttle inputs. That is key. Give the bike gas as you come down from a wheelie. As we see here again, 50% slow motion. I am at balance point, in and out of it. If I were to go up past balance point, I will be at an idle wheelie, which is my goal. And once I get to idle wheelie, everybody else, the fuck out of my way. Another question I have been asked over several times on Facebook is how many times have I looped? Shit. One loop, two loop, three loop, four. Five loop, six loop, seven loop, more. Shit, one day I'll be doing stoppies. I will get a grommet, sir. A good saying that I've heard before from Rob Miller is, if you're not crashing, you're not progressing. So go ahead and build your stump bike so you can loop and send that bitch. It takes a lot of time and effort to learn how to slow wheelie. I am still not there, but any stunt guy can see how close I am. I might have one week, two weeks, three weeks, whatever it fucking takes, but you get your ass out there and do it. I'm going to leave you guys with this uh, setting up your stunt bike to where it's easy for you to wheelie and comfortable for you to wheelie and also to protect it from the beating that it takes when you drop it is one of the most important things you need to worry about. Here, I'm having clutch cable issues. My clutch cable snapped on me, but which usually means that's the end of my fucking day. There is nothing else good that I want to push my bike to do. I need to go back and replace this clutch and also need to adjust it to where it feels good to me. Like I just said, setting up of your stunt bike is one of the most important things that you will do while stunting. You break something? <laughs> A clutch cable. Oh, damn it. Did it snap? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. As 
I sat and waited on my clutch cable to arrive so I can install it to get the fuck back to the house. I was given an opportunity to ride a Grom. I did not hesitate. I was excited. I turned that goddamn key and I put it in first gear and I was gone, goddamn it. I greatly appreciate that, man. If you in Bike Life Houston, bro, I know you said you was an admin of that Grom uh, page. Hey, I appreciate that. That was that was cool. That was my first time. No homo. But hey, we got to link up, do this shit again, and we got to get your stunt bike out there. All right? Because that is numero uno. Because that November 3rd to November 5th is going to be big for us. I'm not going to mention what it is. You know what it is. But hey, man, I greatly appreciate that. That was my first time on the ground. But hey, my clutch cable is done with. I got to get up out of here. My bad luck is over with today. So hey, link up with me. We'll do something. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. And hit that like button. And stay riding no matter what.